uh, we were too excited to end it. And then we just forget about that. Oh, so you got lucky is what you mean to say. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start Sugang's class. Sugang, do you want to give a little uh, talk? Yeah. Do you want to explain your text, what text you're working on? Yeah, my pleasure. So I'm working on the uh, with the Wheel of Life text, and uh, this is the second book. The first book uh, we have completed, uh, it was the commentary to the Wheel of Life uh, teaching by Kendrap Tempa um, And it was kind of interesting. We, uh, uh, at least for me, I learned a great deal of uh, basic to understand the teaching so that when we come to the second book, which is a commentary by Master Vasubandhu, and uh, which has not been translated before, at least I could follow using what I have learned from the first book. And this book is very interesting in the sense that um, we, so we actually discuss on the title, which is the first principle and the divisions. And we spent quite a fair bit on the first principle alone. So it was said that the first principle is like the sutra and the divisions are like the commentaries. But because of that, Master Vasubandhu spent quite a fair bit of time on the first principle. And uh, basically we are debating. Uh, the first principle consists of two lines. Uh, if, if this is here, that is there. If this, if this happens, that happens. Mm -hmm. So just these two sentence, sentences alone, there are many arguments and uh, Master Vasubandhu basically uh, destroyed the uh, wrong understanding that they are different. So basically they are the same. The one sentence is explaining the other sentence. So both are the same, they are not different at all. And he presented his arguments on why this is so. And it is a very interesting read if you have the time when the book is ready to go through the arguments. And then we went into the uh, first link. Oh no, before we go there, we discuss about why there are exactly 12 links and not more and not less. And then uh, we talk about each, the one link triggering the other link. So there was an interesting question. What is the trigger for the first link. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went into this discussion about the conditions and the material costs, the condition and the cost. And there were a series of interesting arguments as well. So basically uh, we are saying that the uh, wrong understanding is the condition for the misunderstanding, but not the cost. So that means that uh, we cannot say that there is a link zero or link minus one. Mm -hmm. And then we also talk about the misunderstanding as the main of the uh, link of the will. And that's why link number one, actually, uh, um, we spend quite a fair bit of time in uh, learning about link number one. And at the end of the explanation of link number one, Master Vasubandhu actually went into saying that link number one is uh, subsumed as in included in the other links as well. And he also went on to say that even after link number 12, anything after link number 12 should already be included in the initial desire. And he, again, he presented a few arguments. And finally, before we end this, uh, we jump into the definition of mis the miss of the misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were seven uh, definitions. And obviously the, correct one is the last definition. So we ended last term at this point, Geshe-la. Cool. That's a beautiful uh, summary. I, I think, uh, Stanley, if you teach these guys how to do that uh, mind map, that might be cool. Uh, I wanted to say one thing, you know, um, when, you, when you sit in mixed nuts class, it changes your mind. Okay, the confusion you feel, <laughs> okay, it actually improves your mind. I believe that. And it improves your understanding of the world. And I want to give a proof of that. It's on my cell phone. I hope it's okay. 
What is that? This is uh, this is some sexy lady with her new car. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. Car. Yesterday. Okay. And uh, I, I, it's not my goal in my life to get rich. It's not my goal. I, I have higher goals than that. But uh, if you understand uh, these books, uh, even if you get, uh, what do you call? Confusion, which is uh, becoming understanding. Uh, I believe that your life will be more successful. I believe that great things will happen in your life. And it's not the goal to get a big house or a new car, but um, if you study these things, those things are automatic. Those little goals are automatic. Uh, and then you can do a lot to help the whole world. You can help the whole world. If you, if you stay in the mix, nuts, be brave. Uh, listen to Sugang's very difficult text. Uh, I, I say it helps your normal life also. Okay. And uh, you can, and he has a, he and Shin Tin have a wonderful life, wonderful family. And uh, that's rare in the world. That's more rare than a new car. Angela, uh, I would like to introduce our new daughter. Ooh, hi, new daughter. <laughs> yeah. Her name is Ani, and uh, yeah, she is our host here, and she has been wow. very driving us around, and Hello. yeah, wow. and you you won't believe it. She upgraded the Wi-Fi speed just for me to attend oh. from her <laughs> guest house. Kapuma ka, kapuma ka, no, Tinamakasi. I got the wrong one. Tinamakasi, Tinamakasi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bobby? In Balinese, uh, the thanks, thank you, we, they say shuksuma, you know? Shuksuma. It's, it sounds like uh, sushumna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shuksuma. Nice. Shuk yeah. Good, good. Uh, All right, here we go to work. Uh, let's go to your to your, uh, to your text. Let me see here. Yeah, Here's you. On there. Uh, so... Uh, the the pages that you are translating, Sugang, uh, you will go slower per page because you are using Tengir. And Tengir page is this big. It's it's like this big uh, because the, the monks in the ancient monasteries uh, hundreds of years ago, they don't have eyeglasses. And so they carved the text very, very big. And your book, uh, there will be more English pages for each uh, ancient language page. Okay, so it it's a your page numbers will be a little slower than other people, but it's the same amount of text. Uh, I I predict you can finish this book in 2028. The classes it, uh, it will take eight years total, and uh, I think. Uh, we can make uh, a bunch, uh, se several different books, I guess, if we want to. And uh, the one pro challenge we have with this book is we don't have the Sanskrit. Uh, yesterday, we, we found a new version of uh, Nick's new book, the Sanskrit. And so that's very helpful. Uh, for Stanley's book, we do have the Sanskrit. Uh, but Sugang's book is a big challenge. Uh, because we don't have the original uh, Sanskrit. We don't know. Uh, sometimes it's going to be very difficult to understand the book because we don't have the original and we don't have any commentaries. Nobody in 1,700 years tried to write a commentary. Okay. Uh, you are the first one. Uh, and uh, we're going to add a biography of Master Vasubandhu, it's going to make the book about uh, about 100 pages more because we're adding some other teachers. And here's the structure of Sugeng's commentary. It's built on the 12 links in the Wheel of Life. So Sugeng's uh, text is based on the 12 links of the Wheel of Life. And the most important link is the first link, 
it means what does it mean uh, that you don't understand the world or you don't if you understand the world uh, you can have success you can have a new car you can have a beautiful family you can go spend time in bali uh, as your job uh, and uh, but you have to get over misunderstanding so misunderstanding is the longest part and the most difficult part of, of this commentary and that's what we're studying now uh, Okay, so Sugeng, uh, usually with your text, we've been doing a little bit of biography, like what's the story of Master Vasubandhu? Uh, how did he live? Uh, what's his background? And so if we have five classes together this term, uh, as usual, I would like to spend one class in biography. And we spent, uh, we finished Vasubandhu's biography already, Master Vasubandhu's biography. Uh, traditionally, when you uh, present his biography in your introduction of your book or something, okay, uh, or in the appendix, uh, traditionally we cover the biography of his major students, of his most important students. So today, uh, with your permission, I would like to cover uh, one of his students, the biography of one of his famous students, whose name is Stiramati, okay, Stiramati, uh, which means uh, strong mind or solid mind. Stira means, uh, like the definition of yoga in the Yoga Sutra is what, Mr. Kramer, of asana? Uh, stira Sukham. Yeah, stira sukha, uh, steady and steady. If it's steady, then it's pleasant. If it's not, it's unpleasant. You guys will know. Uh, so uh, stira means strong or steady, and mati means, of course, mind. So we're going to read the biography of stira mati together today, okay? Just the first class, and then we'll go on to uh, ignorance, okay, or <laughs> misunderstanding. All right, and who's checking you is, is Mr. Word there? Yes. Yeah, are you there, Word? Yes, sir. Can you check this guy? Sure. Try to criticize him, he, he deserves it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank to Gyurpa Lopun, Gyurpa 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 Lopun, Lodru Tenpa Tenpani, Lopun Yi Nyan Paga Pi Hara Jawana, Drumar Ki Shang Kak Shang Kang We Nangna Supe, Sang 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 Okay. Okay, I really I really want to try this myself. <coughs> What's Dagni Chambu in Sanskrit, you guys? Word and 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 so again. Oh, Mahatma. Mahatma. Yeah, great being, great person like Mahatma Gandhi. Dagni Chambu means Mahatma. Okay. Ik Yignin. Um um um, Master Vasubandhu. Vasubandhu. What's a uh, what's Vasu in mean in Sanskrit? Yik, yik. Treasures of the earth. Good, nice. Yeah, treasures of the earth. So his name Vasubandhu means friend of the treasures of the earth or something like that. Okay. Uh, he had a loma. What's that? Student. Student, and that student was Kepa about number. Expert on the higher teaching. Uh, expert on yeah. Chung number, Chung number. Abhidharma. 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 He was an Abhidharma. Kepe Chok, number one Abhidharma scholar. Okay. And his name is Master Stiramati. So Stiramati doesn't have any long end, any long eye. It's just Stiramati. Okay. Easy. Stiramati. Uh, now, his story is that. Lopan Yignan, what's that mean, Sugeng? Master Vasubandhu. Yeah, 
he was nang na shuk. He was sitting in a sang that was full of jumar. Sitting, sitting in a warehouse full of food? Nah, don't you guys remember what he used to do? He's sitting in a, uh, by the way, Diamond Mountain, one day we found a, an old bathtub. Uh, oh, metal, it's an ant's metal. nest? Uh, no, bathtub. Sang. Bathtub. Sang is a co copper bathtub. Oh, right. Okay. Cute. He oh, was yeah. sitting in a copper bathtub filled with tila, like oh, tilopa. Yeah. Sesame seed butter? Yeah, sesame seed butter. And Vasubandhu used to enjoy, I got to try it. He used to enjoy sitting in a bathtub filled with sesame seed butter or oil. Uh, I think it's good for lung. But it's probably also good for your skin, right? Right, Shopping? Must be. Uh, so he enjoyed sitting in a bathtub full of sesame seed oil in a place called Bhaga Vihara. Okay, Bhaga Vihara. Vihara means a resting place or a temple. And uh, Bhaga, that's a long story. Uh, so he was staying in a place called Bhaga Vihara. He was doing his usual bathtub thing. And what's he doing in the bathtub? Anybody remember? Reciting all the classics that he was. Yeah, to he will memorize books sitting in the bathtub. I like it. My people make fun of me uh, memorizing in the toilet, but I, I think it's very peaceful. OK. Uh, all right. So uh, Please read and uh, word. Can you keep helping him? Please. Pum de getu getu shall shall give him shepe te puk run sik gyun tu yen shik shik shik. Yeah. Shik gyun tu. Nyen ne du pa nam shik te pu te ta kap drama se javar mangri ki pur kye. Good. Uh, nice. Uh, I looked up boom day word. Uh, mm. I don't think it's a specific collection of texts. I think it's uh, either it's 99 or 80. Uh, famous books. It's called the Boom Day. You know, it's so it just means the the major collection of scriptures called the eighty scriptures. Okay, sometimes it's called the ninety nine scriptures. Uh, what shall turn shall turn swadhyaya, Mister Kramer? A recitation. Yeah, he was reciting the sacred books. Uh, so he used to sit in the bathtub full of oil and recite his books, you know. Uh, maybe I should try that. I have dry, such dry skin. Uh, uh, there was a pukrun. I'll give Pigeon? you a clue. What's that? Pigeon? Yeah. And sometimes, where do you see this pukrun? Uh, center of the wheel of life. Yeah, in the middle of the wheel of life. Sometimes it's a... A rooster. Yeah. a rooster, and sometimes it's a pigeon, because these two birds love to have sex, and so it represents desire. Uh, but this one is just a normal pigeon, okay? Uh, what's gin do? Nyin. In a flow? Yeah, in a flow means uh, usually, or, uh, you know, hour to hour, he would nyin. What's a nyin to? Listen, listen. Yeah, he would listen to these uh, holy books being recited by Vasubandhu. Dupa means he used to hang out, okay? He used to hang out. But unfortunately, one day, Poa. He died? He away. Yeah, he died. Namshik means one day. Se Poa means he died. He died and passed on to the next world. And then he was born as, he was born in the Takop, which is the opposite of the U. The hinterlands? Yeah, he was born in the 
barbarian lands? Outlying lands, where outlying land means uh, there's not strong Buddhism. America is a taco, okay? Uh, Buddhism is not strong here. So we call uh, the out, outer country or outer lands, okay? He was born there into a, into a country called Drama, okay? And Drama, apparently, you guys, if you've been studying Vimalakirti, uh, it's, a Litsavi, it's a Litsavi nation. It's the nation of the Litsavi race, okay? So it's like, a, I don't know, kind of a rich country, okay? He was born into a, a, a country of, a, a wealthy country, but he was born in the, among the different castes, he was born into the Mangvik. What's that mean? Do you guys know? Lower, lower caste? Yeah, lower caste or commoner. Commoner. Mang means many, right? So Rik means caste. So <clears throat> he was born just in a normal family, middle class family. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The pigeon was born into a middle class family. Uh, go ahead. So, gang, word, can you help him on one more line here? You guys can translate this if you think about it. I'm going to shut up, which is rare for me. And uh, you guys. Sugang, do you want to help? Yes, please. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know K, we've had that a million, billion what? times. Yeah, born, Matak is like a, it means like right after he was born or something? Yeah, just after he was born. Um, hey, Diwa, go to Diwa, word. Uh, he smelled something. No, this is like uh, Dilem. He asked. Is yeah, he asked, asked a question mm -hmm. uh, to his dad, actually. Lopan Kanashu. Um, where's my teacher? Where'd my teacher go? Yeah, where'd my teacher go? Where's my teacher? You know, uh, where'd my teacher? Who's his teacher? Master Vasubandhu. Bas Master Vasubandhu. Hey, where's my teacher? Pay is an instrumental word. Yeah, his father said. Yeah, his father replied. Um, who Who's your teacher? Yeah, who's your teacher? Okay. And I guess the baby said, Yin Yin. Vasubandhu. Where, yeah, my teacher's Vasubandhu. Where's Vasubandhu? Okay. I, by the way, if you become an Arya, if you see emptiness directly, uh, you also see that in your, immediately in your future lives as a baby, you will uh, run into great teachers and they will take care of you for the rest of your lifetimes. So um, it's a, it is a real thing. This is a real thing. Uh, if you see emptiness directly, then as soon as you're born, you are exposed to great teachers for the rest of your life. And they take care of you. And you know that. You can look forward to that. Okay. All right. Uh, that's a word. And this seems to be a good combination. Hey, what? Word and Sugang. Sugang, let's read this one. Sure. And word can you check him. Hey, you build soon draw a song pala drip a yiknyan shuk par shuk par tune chung 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 se kepa tang lapong yiknyan chan bu chan du kel. Okay, uh, okay, word help him get through it. Yeah, I think I got it. I got the first sentence, I think. Okay, um, good. Pay, pay we just had. Um, the father? The father. Yeah. And so the opposite of taco here, yul, yul, the, uh, the, the central land? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. The Buddhist places. Um, they, they draw a to there. Draw? Oh, oh draw? Yeah. Went there. You know, yeah. Okay. Oh, who's going? Somba. It, uh, merchants. Yeah, there were merchants headed for Central India, and yeah. uh, the dad Chiba them. Yeah, the, yeah, the dad. 
you know tree we just had it tree land tripa yeah he he asked them he questioned them uh-huh. yeah he oh, said yeah. to the merchants hey who's, and who's he took, <laughs> he took where yignian shook he was asking where uh, master vasubandhu is living uh he heard he heard oh, it oh, he okay. heard Yeah, he got the information about where Master Vasubandhu was living. And when his son had Chungsei Kiepa, when his son had grown up a little bit, okay, uh, he killed him to Yignyan. Carried him. Carried yeah, him. He, he sent him off. <laughs> okay, he sent him off to study with Master Vasubandhu. Okay. Yay, one more word, one more. Thank you. Lepeng, lepeng ki de la yi ke chi mo lop pa ne sung te rik pe ne tham che la ke pa lap. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, chi mo means uh, ABCs. Yi ke chi mo means it's ABCs, okay? Mm-hmm. okay. So who's the lop, who's the lop in here? The Master Vasubandhu? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you're correct. Yeah. Lopin Vasubandhu taught him Yigi The ABCs? Yep, he taught him uh, his very first lessons up to all of the Rignes. Up to all the... Uh, uh, Rignes. No. Uh, five, five, uh, five. Yeah. Yeah, the great classical subjects of, of uh, knowledge, okay? Uh, not just Buddhism. Buddhism is only one of the five. Okay. Uh, Rigpa Ne, he became a kepa. He became an expert. Come yeah, on. and this love means uh, he studied. He studied them until he became a, an expert, okay? All right, uh, I'm thinking... Uh, where's Stanley? Are Stanley there? Yes. Did you fall asleep? Are you okay? Um, uh, yeah, a little jet lag, but still. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Don't give me this jet lag excuse. Okay. Uh, help, help, uh, Vasubandhu get through this one. Okay. okay. You both, you both, we got to figure out how to put the histories in both books. I don't know. The biographies. <laughs> Ne Nalendra na drome ten suk pe chak tu sen me pupu la ta nyam ne nga sik pu we drill ne chung yang pu we drill pak me ma solwar rang sa wa mi ong nyam ne se se pu yang drill we chi pa nyu so. Nice, nice. Very good. Your, your pronunciation is the best. If anybody wants to learn how to pronounce, you should talk to Master Sugang. Okay. What's Chungu mean, you guys? The word, help him out. I'm sorry. Uh, Stanley, help him out. Yeah. Is, is that the youth? Yeah, when he was a little guy. Okay. okay. The two is time, right? Uh, he went to... Nalandra. Not yeah, Nalandra, Nalandra Monastery. Oh. And there was a ten, which means a stupa. Okay, this ten uh, means a stupa. Okay, of who? Stanley, Droma. Yeah, Tara. There was a Tara stupa. Okay. And, oh. and by the way, this Tara stupa, a lot of cool stuff happens there. Uh, And in his chak, he had sema. Uh, sema means beans or uh, peas, okay? So, uh, Stiramati uh, went to Nalanda. He saw the stupa of Tara there. And he had a handful of, uh, pu means uh, best quality, okay? He had a handful of, Really excellent piece, okay? And he thought, uh, pull. I will pull. 
offer? Yeah, I will offer them to the stupa, okay? Mm -hmm. But I will just eat a uh, sawa, a few of them. <laughs> eat a bit? Yeah, I'll just eat a few. Like maybe they are like uh, crunchy snacks or something. <clears throat> and he said, I'm going to offer all these peas to Tara, but you know, maybe I could just uh, snack on a few. Uh, I'll offer most of them to Tara, but I, I'm going to snack on a few of them, okay? Nyamne Gashikpo. Uh, he offered some of them, okay, on the stupa, on the, in front of the stupa, at the base of the stupa, and they jill. Jill means they rolled off. Oh. They just all rolled off the stupa. All, all the ones he decided to offer to Tara and not to eat himself, <laughs> they just immediately rolled off the stupa, okay? Then Yang Pu. They rolled away? He did it again. He offered again. Yeah, he offered them again. Then he offered more. And they do. Roll away again. And they rolled away the second time. Okay. Then he said, oh, I know why. Nyam means, I'm, he thought to himself, I know why. Uh, I didn't sulwa the pakma. Uh, unless, unless I ask this Arya Tara, right? Lady Arya here, Lady Arya, Pakma, Lady Arya. Uh, if she doesn't give me permission to eat them, Rangsa oh. Miong. Oh, hey, you know what this is? Uh, I just figured this out. This is Mi -e. mm -hmm. No. No, that's not going to work. No, let's take that. Okay. Anyway, it's misspelled. Uh, it doesn't, it's not going to work out, Myung, that I can eat these peas unless I ask permission from the Arya lady, from the lady Arya. Okay. Nyamne. Then finally, Se Se Pu. Se means uh, he offered the whole bag. He, he had the whole bag of peas and he offered them on the stupa, okay? And so gang, they young dill. Or oh, stay, stay on? Dill, dill. Mm -hmm. Dill, or, or again. Uh, they also yeah. rolled off. The whole thing rolled off. The whole bag, just, just the stupa kicked the whole bag off. Okay. <laughs> and then this chiba started to move. He, yeah, started to cry. And Chiba means young child. He's still a child. Okay. What's Chiba synonym for what? Chichungu? Soso Kewa. Yeah, Soso Kewa. What's that, Sugen? Ordinary human, non Arya. Yeah, non Arya. So there's interesting uh, contra contrast here. If you're a sensitive translator, uh, you want to bring out the contrast of Pakma and Chiba. This is an intentional contrast by the author. What's it mean, Sugei? Um, Someone who is an Arya and someone who is not, uh, not an Arya. Yeah, so you've got Tara, who's an Arya, and she's running the stupa. And then you've got Stiramati, who's a non-Arya. But in this case, he's a real Chiba. He's a real young you can say he's a young man here or he's a boy, okay? And then he starts to cry because Tara did what? Rejected his... Yeah, she rejected his... When he finally gave her the, the, the leftover piece, right? <laughs> she said, don't give me the leftover. I don't want it. Yeah, okay. This is how I make offerings also. Okay. Uh, okay, I want this team standing and... And so, gang, let's go again. Here we go. Der pak me shall nyu su pen te nyu mi ge nge kyo la chin ki lap ki kim tu song song te ne kien rap tok me du gyur te ten de la seme do ma she drak so. Nice. 
what's Pakmas again? The uh, Arya lady, Arya woman. Yeah, shell. What's shell mean? Anybody? Face. Holy lips. Holy face. Yeah, but here it means face. Okay, here it means face. Nusuten. Uh, displayed directly. Yeah, she showed her face directly. She said, here I am. Here's Tara. And then she said to him, mommy girl. Don't give me a little bit. Uh, don't cry. Yeah, don't cry. Who's the most famous Mua in history, by the way? Oh, Ever Before Weeping. Of ever Weeping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talked to Mua, right? Uh, she said, you don't have to cry. Uh, I'm going to give you a gym lock. I'll give you a blessing. Yeah, I'll give you my blessing. And you go back to your Kim. Home. You go back home and don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to bless you. She said soon. Then his Kim Rab became Togme. His, oh. his an advancement become uh, an understanding. Overall? His understanding became tokme. Unstoppable. Yeah, ah sangha, ah sangha. <laughs> okay, uh, not unstoppable. Yeah, unstoppable wisdom. Uh, maybe you could even call him Stiramati. Stiramati. Okay, <laughs> like strong mind, Mister Strong Mind. Okay, I think this is a pun, right, Sagan? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, his knowledge became unstoppable. Okay. Uh -huh. And afterwards, chalk means uh, everybody used to say. This chalk means everybody used to say what? Oh, he was the, oh. the son of Droma, of Tara. Uh, nope, that then, then. No. That's we the, had a ten. That's the um chitin. The stupid yeah, chitin. Chitin. Where the beans of Tara are. People would call that uh bean tara stupa. <laughs> bean tara. Bean tara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bean tara. Hey, have you been to the stupa? <laughs> have you been to bean tara stupa? Uh, okay. Have you ever Boston. been to bean tara stupa? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the stupa became called the uh, Bean Tara Stupa. <laughs> oh, that's so romantic. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Hasso, you ready to check this guy? Yes. Give me some trouble. Hasso, where are you? I need you up here. Yes, I'm planning on that. Okay, come on, come on. I, I need help. Lapung Tela, Dukun Chok, check. Lou, she choose a she 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 choose a goo yan yen chet took la nursing drill pa yang set a drug so. Okay, good. Uh, what's love and so again? Uh, teacher, yeah, this master. Uh, so coin sec is a coin uh, sekpa or coin sec is a section of the Kangya. And it's a large collection of small sutras. Okay, huge collection of small sutras. I think, for example, the, the one that I remember from there is the 10 Bhumi Sutra that Tsongkhapa uses it a lot. Okay, so that um, section of the Kangya has, uh, it's a collection of shorter sutras. And it has uh, ship to ship to 40 49 sections. Okay. So Liu here doesn't mean chapter, it means sections. So this collection of sutras, short sutras in the, in the Kang year has 49 different sutras in it. Okay. Ship to ship yen che more than 49. He took langa. He Swadhyaya. Learned himself? Yeah, he memorized. He memorized them, okay. He memorized the 49 uh, lesser sutras 
of the Ratnakuta. It's called a, a section of the of the Kangya. Okay. And he also did a Delpa. Commentary. Yeah, he also wrote a commentary. Jokso, people say. Jokso probably means that we don't have that commentary anymore. Okay. They say, people say that he wrote a good commentary to this special section of the Kangya. Okay. All right. Uh, keep going. Seiji is going to check you. Seiji, by the way, did a great job teaching in Peru. The mixed nuts should be proud of him. He, he taught all of those, uh, that huge uh, convention. He, he, was, he was standing up there in uh, very poetic Spanish. I never heard Seiji speak his native tongue. And oh my God, it's like poetry. So anyway. Deiche kepe drakpe chok kyun tu kyapching lapong de tsuki nreopa nam chak tok sanger chungumpa kun kun le tu ki nreopa rap tu chepa de ge ki nreopa la sok pa ten chu mang tu chamso. Nice. Okay. Uh, then at that time when he was memorizing all those books and reciting them, his tarpa went to all the chok of India. Kirti, Kirti. Oh, famous. Yeah, his name uh, that he was a master, the fame of his of his mastery, it spread to all the every corner of India. Kyap. Kyap means spread. Okay, there's the there's the literal meaning of kyap. In logic, it means something else, right? Uh, and he wrote a delpa to Zhu. Commentary to the uh, Abhidhamma. Good. He wrote a nice Abhidhamma commentary. And that name of that, uh, the name of that commentary is Namchak Tokser. And I'll give $100 if anybody has a piece of that even. Um, the uh, the burning sky. Yeah, not enough. I expect more from you, Word. I mean, the, I mean the iron sky, literally. You the get sound close. of a meteor falling through the atmosphere. Uh, man, you guys are. Oh, oh no! The lightning, the, the, the when lightning strikes. Okay, the first blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Term yeah, first yeah. blood of this term yeah, yeah, has yeah, yeah. gone to master. Master, <laughs> master word got the money. Aya. Okay, don't forget the new rule. You have to collect the money from uh, Venerable Jigme, okay? And I'm, it's just a trust system. If anybody tells Jigme I owe them money, she gives it to them. Okay, so if you ever have trouble paying your rent, uh, just call Jigme and say you won some, some bets, okay? Uh, so what's Namchak means, so the, in the ancient days, they believe that lightning is made of the hardest steel, like, what's that called? Damascus steel, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, and they believe that it has a diamond at the tip. And that's how it can break a tree or something like that. So they call sky steel. Uh, tok means... Uh, lightning bolt. Ser means a bolt. It doesn't mean here to say. So tok ser means a bolt, a bolt of high quality steel lightning. What's that mean? What is that? Why is it here? Came out of nowhere or was like powerful like that? What's powerful like that? His commentary? Yeah, good, good. He called his commentary a bolt of a bolt of unstoppable steel on the heads of all those guys who don't understand Abhidharma. You see what I mean? It's kind of a cool name. You know, I, I, when I was like, hey, Nick, we're always looking for names for our band. Uh, I think Namchak Tokse is pretty cool. Uh, That's probably the best one we've heard so far. Unstoppable bolt of steel, unstoppable steel bolt of lightning. Okay. Uh, so he wrote that commentary. Keep going, Sugen. Che. 
Now, what's significant about this? Somebody tell me, Hasso, why, why is this very significant? Very significant. Hmm. Hmm. Second commentary he wrote. Abhidhamma Samuchaya? Yeah, but why is that important, again? Like Abhidhamma Kosha, he wrote a commentary on Abhidhamma Kosha, and then he wrote a commentary to Abhidhamma Samuchaya. Why is it significant? Or oh, is it because this is this signifies the mind only? Uh, yeah, perfect. That's his half brother's classic. That's his half brother's important mind only classic. The, just to say he wrote. I'm sorry, his teacher's brother, uh, his teacher Vasubandhu's half brother. He's showing off that he knows the detailist school. And he knows the mind only school. He wrote a book on each of them. Okay, cool. Cool. And not only that, he wrote Raptu Chepa Dege Ki Delpa. Okay, Raptu Chepa Dege Ki Delpa. I think this is a commentary on, I gotta check, but Pumbungai Raptu Chepa, which means a very famous. A book by Chandakirti uh, about the uh, divisions of the five heaps. And uh, I, I believe, I'm, I'm not 100% sure I got to check. Um, but if, if that's correct, why is that important, Sugeng? So the third commentary here is a commentary to, to Chandakirti. Oh, the, uh, because it's a middle way, right? Yeah, that's, that means he... That means he mastered three of the great schools. He's just like a mixed nut, okay? He's mastering different schools, okay? Very unusual, okay? Yay, Stiramati. When we say Chandrakirti, that means higher middle way, right? Yeah, higher middle way, exactly. Always higher middle way. I, I believe, it's if it's the Rapta Chepa I'm thinking of. Okay, uh, there's some study I did about it. Ooh, a few notes here, Sugeng. This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, look at here. Wow. <laughs> we finished. You finished uh, six minutes, uh, one minute early, right, Newton? Six minutes, right. Exactly. No, actually, we have six minutes early. Oh, so let's go to the text again. Uh, uh, yeah. Ever waste five minutes in this yeah, yeah, here's your main text, okay? Yes. And we're going back to Vasubandhu's very difficult commentary on, on uh, the 12 links. And I think that Tim wants to check you. Okay, go ahead. Reshik Jampe Nampe Semla Chakpa Mepe Ranki Ngowo Yangkang Sik Yin. Okay, good. Uh, so we're in the middle of the explanation of misunderstanding, and he says, uh, Champe or Reshik means, um, so just to talk about for a bit, Reshik means for a bit, okay? For a bit, let's talk about Champa. What's Champa? Love. Love, love. love. right. Let's talk about love, okay? Uh, then the mind that has the aspect of love, what's its, what's its essence? What's the real essence of it? It's Chakpa Mepa. Cannot, cannot be Dechak. broken. Dechak. Free of Dechak. attachment, free of desire. Yeah, it's free of desire. And free it's an interesting desire. comment. It's an interesting statement. The essence of love is freedom from desire. Okay, that's an interesting idea. Kashi yin. Well, what's that mean? What's that refer to? Oh, midukpe nambala. When you see a person who has midupa, um, no suffering? 
Uh, this okay. Duke makes attractive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this okay. Duke makes attractive. The Duke and Dunyo, if you take the nail off, Dupa means attractive. Okay. What's Tanadu? Tanadu. Tanadu is a city at the top of Mount Meru where the gods live. And it's going to come in somebody's book. Uh, I don't remember who. One of you is going to have it pretty soon. Uh, you're going to talk about, oh, it's Nick's text. Uh, it's going to talk about that city at the top of Mount Meru. Uh, anyway, the, the city is called Tanadu. If you look at it, it looks beautiful. Okay, so here, uh, what's our normal reaction to a person who is Midupa, which means ugly? Okay, what, what's our reaction to ugly things? Shedan. We usually get a hatred or, or we don't like them. Okay, so Shedang is the snake in the wheel of life. And Chakba is kind of the Pugrun. What's a Pugrun? The pigeon. Yeah. Uh, so Shedang Mepa, if we can, uh, an aspect of love is that we, o- we overcome both attachment and aversion. Midupa, okay, aversion, okay. Yang, kanshi yin, okay. De ni la, de ni te, okay. Uh, when we talk about these two, uh, we talk about a polarity, okay, a polarity. What is the polarity? Uh, Chakpa and Shedang are mi tincho. Uh, I mean, Tinchok means they stand in, they stand in, what do you call that? Opposition. Uh, exclusive. They are uh, stand in opposition. Opposition. Okay. Over opposition. They are opposition. Okay. They stand in opposition. Okay. Uh, these two stand in opposition to each other. And it's not as if they don't have a tsinyi. It's not as if they don't have a tsinyi. Mini. You can Mini. recognize them. Definition. Yeah, it's, it's not the case that they don't have their own characteristics. Okay, their their own defining characteristics. It's not the case, right? By the way, Sugang. Yeah. Traditionally, they would say that Rikpa, as opposed to Marikpa, doesn't see a tsini of these two emotions. Mm. Rikpa doesn't see a tsini of these two emotions. So understanding doesn't see the... What is tsini again here? In the tsini means like... Uh, characteristic uh, here? Uh, characteristic. Uh, defining characteristics. Defining characteristics. So, of what? Of, um, de- of desire and hatred. Of, of, of attachment and hatred. It doesn't see any definitions. What's that mean? Uh, take it to fire. Take it to fire. So again, you got one minute left. Take it to fire. Fire, fire doesn't have sinyi. So fire itself doesn't have the hot and the Good. burning? Yeah, exactly. So the idea of not having your own sinyi is very important when you're discussing the first link. Okay? When you're discussing the first link, it's extremely important to understand that even a thing like fire is not hot from its own side. Take it to the kitchen, Sugang. The husband, which is not coming from on the seats, he's angry because he's hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who made fire hot? The, the seats, the seats, the, the, when I treated somebody else badly uh, last week, yeah. that is, the hot, the heat in the fire. Now, for a hundred dollars, and I just heard the word "wake up." I don't even have to see him. Uh, for a hundred dollars, and then we'll stop for this morning. For a hundred dollars, take this to the senma. Take this to the senma. Take this discussion to the senma. The the, the, indi- the indications. The no senma. 
Oh, the, the beans. The beans. Yeah, take this, take this discussion to the beans. What? Oh. It's a very famous example similar to fire. Oh, drunk. Uh, the, the numerous said that beans just had their own roundness. Yeah, you and get that, close. You got $25. And that that roundness just beans and thorns had their own inherent. I didn't make beans round. I didn't make thorns sharp. Yeah, that that's the thingy of a bean is its roundness, okay? The, the, the defining characteristic of a bean, of a pea, is its perfect roundness. And it's senyi mepa. There is no characteristic, inherent characteristic, characteristic coming from its own self? Wait, words trying to make another 25 bucks, come on. I, I, I'm you're slowly getting up to 100 words. <laughs> Very slow. <laughs> it has. It has no uh, defining characteristics. Yeah, exist. nobody, say it in plain English, nobody. Nobody made seeds round. Yay, nobody made peas round, okay? Yep. 100 bucks, okay? That's the second 100 bucks you made this hour, okay? That's called senyi mepa, okay? That's, the, that's what senyi mepa means. Nobody made peas round. Sorry, <laughs> peas aren't round from their own side. Husbands aren't pissed off from their own side, okay? You made seeds around, and you made all the irritating people in the world irritating, okay? It's you, and it's because of your pigeonness and your snakeness that you have to see all this stuff, okay? Yay, let's stop there, you guys. Thank you. How about that? Grandpa's going back to bed, I think. Thank yes, you, Joshua. Uh, translation homework. Oh, uh, yeah. Hang on. Uh, today is the 15th. Uh, let me see something. Yeah, I want you to do the next three sentences, okay? Mikla Sok, Niki Lok, and De Shindu. Thank you. No, wait. I got a better one. <laughs> I, can you for, cancel that? Can you start with Rikpa D? Sure. And I want you to do the next three sentences, okay? Until Torni Njikten la? Yeah, Kangi Mitin, Torni Njikten, and De Chedu, okay? There's four. Anyway. No yeah. sleep for you tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. And by the <laughs> way, what's it mean, Rikpa D Kashinam? What's it mean? Uh, so again, if we, if we if we talk about if we uh, focus on this understanding, yeah, uh, if we want to define, if we want to understand the first link, which is misunderstanding, well, what the heck is understanding? Understanding, good. That's the part you're going to translate. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys this evening. Uh, by the way, I asked Nick if. If uh, I, I know that starting tomorrow we have a yoga, you want to talk about me? Sure, sure I can, uh, but it might be better coming from you. But uh, okay. to starting tomorrow we have yoga classes. Uh, they're on the schedule for after this. So like in the morning sessions, starting tomorrow, uh, what are our morning sessions? And Geshe Michael requested uh, if we could also do yoga sessions in the it, before the afternoon classes. So I would say four to five p.m. Arizona time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, we're looking for teachers for those classes. So if anybody wants to teach a yoga class, email me. Um, if you know how to teach a yoga class, don't just wing it. Uh, <laughs> the first time. We're all um, winging it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Uh, so there's my email address. If you want to share a zoom yoga class during that time uh four to five uh pretty much any of the days that we're in classes but they're still available because nobody has signed up yet uh, my uh my experience personally is that uh if i do yoga before the classes my mind is much more clear much more strong so i asked nick 
it's it's good if we have classes after the morning classes uh, for Europe and for America, uh, but that means uh, you guys in Asia, you're gonna start yoga at 11 p.m. And I don't know, for me, it keeps me awake. Uh, so I would, uh, for Asia, I, I and for me, uh, I'd like to do the the yoga. I'd like to do yoga also, uh, just before the evening classes, uh, which means in in Asia, uh, your yoga class would start at, at seven a.m. Okay, you have to get up early and start your yoga at seven a.m. And then I predict you will do much better in your classes. Your mind will be much more clear. Okay. And you guys, uh, I don't know, I'm looking at Alex Rivas right now. Uh, you guys who are in North America, South America, uh, you know, you could do your class in the afternoon and be sharp for the evening classes. Or if it's more convenient for your schedule, if you're in Europe or you're in the Americas, uh, you, you can only do the, the yoga classes uh, after the morning class, I think, right? Which would be for you, uh, that'd be like 4 p.m. in the afternoon or something, okay? So, um, so but I, I, I really suggest you do yoga every day. And, and I don't care. Nick said, oh, look, Yeshalas, nobody gonna come. I don't care. I'll be there, okay? Uh, it helps, it's my secret for, for really having a clear mind. Is, is doing daily exercise, okay? All right, Nick, that's all the sales I can do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you everybody for coming. Uh, have a nice break, have a nice nap, and I'll see you soon. Gewadi, yeah, sushi. Thank you, thank you, Geshe Michael. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. It's nice to be back. Yes, yeah.